Hi guys, welcome to back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Angelina and today I'm doing my 33 week update, uh, pregnancy update. So, um, it's only been about a week since my last update so there's a little bit of change or a little bit more information but not much. Um, one thing which I did not really touch on the last time, I was kind of explaining, you know, how my job works and how, um, I sit for about eight, nine hours a day, um, and I'm only able to really get up during lunch or break because I'm on a, like a scheduled adherence. And if I take any other time and they audit my schedule, they will use my personal time to cover the times I wasn't on the phone. Um, so basically, um, my sitting down for consistently for that long, on top of the fact that I have to drive 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back, and then park in a garage and walk to work. Um, I was just putting a lot of pressure and pain in my back and you know I can stand at my desk but if we're super busy or I have customer after customer after customer I can't stand and bend over and type so it's either I sit down consistently or I stand up and sit down stand up sit down so regardless it's just annoying and it hurts um, so I was trying to wait out as long as possible, but I had heard from a couple of people that they took short-term disability before the baby was born, and one of them was for the back pain like I have now, um, and I was, you know, talking to them and they said they didn't have any complications with their pregnancy, they just were in a lot of pain and their doctor apparently wrote them a note saying that they were unable to sit for long periods of time. Um, I mean, obviously that's secondhand information and I don't really know for sure, but I decided um, at about 30 weeks to go ahead and apply for that. I've been at my job for six years. Um, I did just transfer to a new position, but um, nevertheless, I still work there for six years. So I still have, you know, like all my um, seniority and all my benefits. Um, so I did go ahead and apply for the short-term disability. I had them, the doctors fill out all the information. I got a caseworker. Um, but after about a week, I was told that the documents supporting the evidence was not sufficient enough. I guess that they had only submitted that I was complaining of back pain, but there was no actual like complication to the pregnancy or, you know, risk to the baby. So they said that it was most likely going to be denied unless I was able to get um, better documentation. Um, so I actually went to the doctor and I spoke to them and I was explaining all the pain that I have, you know, my, my back and then my stomach and um, just, you know, feeling him really low and it's very uncomfortable and I had told them that I had applied for that. I didn't actually see my doctor, I seen a, the, his nurse practitioner I believe it was. And she basically told me that there was absolutely no way that they would approve me for getting sh short-term disability. I would not be able to get paid um, and not work due to the back pain. She said it was normal and that during your second pregnancy, you just you carry more weight and it's just a little bit more painful, I guess, due to the fact that your, I guess, your body's just looser, I guess. I don't know. So, anyways... Um, so she said that she would write me for FMLA, but obviously FMLA only, I mean it covers my job so I'm not going to get fired, but it doesn't, um, you're not paid. And um, so I told her just to go ahead and do that because I discussed it with my boyfriend and we kind of came to the point that at this point going back and forth um, and being in pain like I am. And I also work from 11 to 8, so I don't even get home till like 9 o'clock. I can't do anything with my son that gets home from school that we would be okay for at least two months before. Um, I did call to verify that once, if I did do the FMLA, that once the baby's born, I'd still get paid for my parental leave, which was confirmed three times that it would. So I told the doctor to go ahead and do that, and then when I talked to my caseworker, I had told her you know, what the doctor had said, and that, um, and she said that it would most likely be approved for FM FMLA too. So, um, I told her to go ahead 
and submit the short-term disability for review to see if they approve it or deny it for sure. And then I guess after that, if it's denied, then they would send it for FMLA. Um, so on Friday, I actually got the email saying that they did deny it and that it's in review for FMLA. Um, I haven't been at work for, I believe, three weeks now. I want to say this is my third week. Um, today I'm actually 34 weeks exactly. Um, <clears throat> but I think I've been out for three weeks. Um, but anyways, so um, right now I'm just waiting to get the final status on the FMLA. And once I do, I'll let you know. Um, but I guess... I don't feel like the baby's going to be late. I do think he's going to be early. I feel like a lot of people think their babies are going to be early and they're not, so I could be completely wrong. But my other son came at 38 weeks, so I'm just thinking that this one seems a little bit bigger, so maybe he'll come sooner. I don't know for sure. Um, but if he does, once. If the F, as long as the FMLA gets approved, you know, I'll be good. I won't have to go back to work. And um, once the baby comes, I'll be able to do the parental leave, which I actually do get paid 100% for 16 weeks. So that would be nice. Um, that's kind of what's going on with work-wise. <sighs> Let's see. The back pain that I have, it's not like every single day, but it does happen quite often. And technically, I don't even really have to do anything. I um, A lot of the times if I sit down for a long period or stand for a long period, I do get very uncomfortable. Um, but the back pain sometimes just comes on out of nowhere. Like the other day, I was just hanging out with my grandma, and um, I actually was fine pretty much all day. But once I got into bed, I literally, like my back was just in so much pain. And I just couldn't get comfortable. I was tossing and turning. I mean... I toss and turn pretty much every night now, but um, that's kind of like how the back pain is. Also, I have been having more frequently where my stomach feels really tight, I guess. Kind of like if you did a hundred sit-ups and then like maybe you didn't breathe while you were doing them and then you get up and you ju it just feels so, I guess, tight. Yeah, that's what it is. And then I wasn't 100% sure if that was Braxton Hicks contractions only because of my son. Aiden, I never had like any symptoms of anything. Like that whole pregnancy, like went so smoothly. I never had any Braxton Hicks. I never had any complication. You know, I I worked all the way up until my water broke. So um, that was easy. And I still am having that. And then I did. Um, I'm on the app uh, Glow, I think it is. And People post, like, every day you can see the progress of your baby, but then also, you know, people will post, like, comments or blogs in there or asking questions. And so I actually did that for the um, tightness that I was having. And um, so people were saying it was Braxton Hicks, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's also not consistent, but it does come and go. And it's actually really uncomfortable. It's not painful. It's just very uncomfortable. Um, so for a while there was actually getting um, like cramps in my abdomen or my lower abdomen and it would be like I would get like four of them within an hour um, I told my doctor about it but they said that um, unless it's like six within an hour that they don't worry about it um, and I really haven't gotten very many since then I haven't gotten any cramps just the tightening of the stomach and back pain so I haven't really had any more of that like occasionally I'll have pain on this like down below my belly or um, a lot of the times when I'm getting up from bed I literally feel like the baby's head is like right there like my V car just hurts like it just it, it hurts I it's just I'm it's got to be the way he's laying when I'm laying down but it's very uncomfortable baby has hiccups now. I've noticed them over the last couple of weeks that he is actually getting hiccups and um, also I've felt this other thing and I don't really know what it is because it really feels kind of like a heartbeat but I don't think that I can feel his heartbeat from the outside but it's very light and it just is like up and down, up and down. I mean maybe it's breathing too, I'm not sure. So I've noticed that over the last week that I have completely lost my appetite again. Like in the beginning of my pregnancy, I was not craving anything. 
nothing sounded good and I would just eat because I knew I needed to eat and I'm pretty much back at that I do not crave anything if anything maybe ice cream but nothing sounds good to me at all like I was eating um, like the little tiny bagels and cream cheese for a while for breakfast but now like just nothing sounds good for breakfast um, I just eat because I have to eat like I said but I just don't crave anything the most I crave is Dairy Queen ice cream with uh, Oreo and peanut butter topping that's really good but that's really the only thing that I actually like crave um, also I want to eat like um, hot Cheetos like the puffy hot Cheetos um, or something cold but it's really not a craving anymore um, but that's what I was craving before um, I was trying to walk for like 20 minutes a day um, just to kind of promote um, labor but also so that I'm not just sitting at home while I'm not you know working doing nothing um, but that only lasted like three days and now I'm just like been lazy again I guess um, I shouldn't but it's it's gotten a little bit hot like it started to cool down and it was really nice and so I didn't mind um, walking but over this last week it's just gotten um, hotter it's back up into like mid 90s which for me is I mean it's not scrooching hot you know but it was just nice when it was cooling down and now it's not I did actually pack my hospital bag and I packed most of my diaper bag I did have my baby shower on Saturday um, but I like I've already said multiple times I've, I've already pretty much have everything so I was really only doing like diapers washes stuff like that um, I had mainly um, family show up but surprisingly I didn't get as many diapers as I thought I would have but we did still get stuff so um, I am finishing up my hospital bag and I probably will do a video on that and um, I don't know I might do like a nursery tour I guess you could say but the baby's gonna be in our room for now um, it may change and he might get his own room but I'm not 100% sure yet just trying to decide whether I wanted to go ahead and go on the leave because I'm the type of person that just works 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 and I don't use my sick time like nothing but this pregnancy has just been so much harder than the first and I also have a high tolerance for pain so I'm not sure if I'm just being a baby or what I'm doing honestly but I did use all of my sick time up and my vacation time up this time around and I do feel somewhat guilty for not being there but with the department that I'm in now I don't feel as guilty um, they have a lot of people working and they definitely do not rely on me um, but I still do feel a little bit guilty about it I um, but when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and if I really wanted to do that I was trying to search all over online you know to just see what other people were feeling or how um, they may have handled it because I know a lot of people actually don't get any type of like paid leave or anything like that my company is very good um, company to work for um, but uh, regardless like I really didn't find much so hopefully if there's somebody out there that is looking into it maybe my story and what's happening um, can kind of give them some info um, it's my first time ever doing this honestly I literally don't even know how it all works still um, I mean I do I do know the difference between the two but um, that's just after speaking to my caseworker and getting all that information so this is with the shirt on 34 weeks And with this shirt up. Now, with my son, 
um, my belly button actually just went flat. This one's kind of sticking out there. Also, with my son, I got stretch marks on the side here. Um, and I don't have any new ones as of yet. But I also, towards the end, got these stretch marks down here. They're not, like, really thick ones, but they are, like, little ones. So they really don't bother me that much. But as I've stretched out now, I can see them a lot more. But still, I have not seen any, like, new, new ones.